Got a lot of youth. You know, we got 23 of our 30 guys on our roster are freshmen and sophomores. So we're going to have to be patient with them, uh, but we're not lowering the standard at all. You know, the standard in practice still remains high. The standard once we play games is still going to remain high. It's been good to, to get the guys back on campus. It's been good to be able to, you know, to, to teach them, coach them, mentor them, you know, on a daily basis. We have a leadership council that we have of seven guys that, that was voted on by our team. Uh, here in January and, and those guys I've been meeting with them once a week and been able to do some things with some leadership group training and some, some other things that have been really really positive and I kind of posed that question to them this past Monday and you know the young guys we have there they kind of said hey I'm a little bit scared about what's what's coming on you know in terms of the level of competition because they've never played a division one game before uh, our older guys have a pretty good idea and pretty good concept but I told them I said you know, I've been doing this for 31 years, and I'm a little nervous too. I'm a little antsy right now, and, and that's normal. Uh, again, I think I think the main thing that we have to be cognizant of is we got to be patient with these guys. You know, we got a lot of young people. That's not an excuse. It's not doesn't mean that we're lowering the standard at all, uh, but we got to be very patient because it takes time for guys to develop into into really good conference USA level players. It, it's it's a situation where you come every day and you try to figure out how good you can be each day. Uh, but I like the makeup of our team. I like the way uh, most guys have, have bought into the work ethic that's necessary. And, and uh, you know, we're going to do everything we can to be as good every day as possible. The good thing is we're in a great league. And, and the league, you know, affords us that opportunity with the level of play that we're going to be seeing, uh, you know, on a week-by-week -week basis. The other thing that we've always done is we've always played at a very aggressive non-conference schedule. So if you combine our league play now with those 30 games with our non-conference schedule, uh, our guys see the best. Uh, the other, another thing that's really positive is there's so many great programs right in this area. Now, I've got a lot of friends around the country and I continue to tell them that the Southeast is the toughest by far game in and game out uh, level of Division I baseball. And some of them say, nah, you know, that's not that way, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is, and, and again, living it for 22 plus years now, every time we play, uh, we have a chance to, to win, but we also have a chance to lose because we're going to be playing against quality competition. So I like the mentality of our guys. I think that that's the right mentality. There's a lot of work and effort and a lot of development that has to go into getting to that point. Uh, Coach Rimbalak, uh, who's been a friend of mine for a long time, he does a great job. Uh, he's coached uh, you know, in the ACC, he's coached in the MAC. Uh, just a lot of respect for them, and, and that's really the focus. Uh, I know that they'll play very aggressive. They'll play with a lot of toughness. They'll be, uh, like I said, extremely well coached. And, and you know, we schedule them for a reason because I think they got one of, the, one of the best, if not the best, you know, two or three programs in the MAC, and they're going to continue to be moving forward. That's a very good baseball league. You know, we've played Kent State out of that league. We've played some others out of that league in, the, in years past, and they, they know how to play. You know, very physical teams usually. and and they'll be excited to get away from probably the snow and cold of, of, of Ohio and get down here to North Carolina. Uh, our guys are really tired of playing against each other, <laughs> you know. Uh, they really are tired. I talked to our football guys the other day because we're so close here to the football complex. They had a great recruiting class, by the way. They're really excited about those guys. You know, we got to talking about, you know, when we play, it's, it's for real. The first game that they play in football, the first game we play because we don't have any exhibition games. There's no scrimmages. It's just tee it up and go. So our guys are tired of playing against each other in scrimmages. Uh, we got to do that for a little while longer. But you know we'll be as prepared as we can possibly be come that first weekend against Akron, and then we'll see what we need to do and the adjustments we need to make. And and uh, that's part of coaching. It's part of developing a team.